And I'm Bella. If your cooking skills are stuck in a rut, we're here to help. If your kitchen has seen better days, we'll show you how to fix it. We'll give you recipes, hacks, and the confidence to own your kitchen again. Oh my God! This is Sammy and Bella's Kitchen Rescue. I'm Sammy. I'm Bella, and you're going to love this rescue because we're making Portuguese. That's right. We're on our way to meet Marguerite, who has an Irish background, but her husband's Portuguese, so she wants to surprise her family with some new recipes. It's very sweet, isn't it? Mm. I know just the recipes, but I've heard the kitchen is a disaster zone. Well, my cooking skills are very, very basic and simple, and Joe, my husband, loves his food. He loves really spicy food, and I want to learn how to surprise him. Knock, knock. Hi. Welcome. Can I come so in? Please. Oh. oh hello, Marguerite. Hello. <laughs> Show us your kitchen. Yes. Come in. It's very neat. Very tidy. Where's, where's the problem hiding? Well, I have a problem with my pantry. It's a big pantry, I have to say. What do you think's wrong well, with your Well, I have a lot of herbs. And I have herbs, herbs and more herbs. They look kind of old. I mean, how long have you had this for? It's gelatin. I bought that, actually, about two years ago. Two I years ago? At Christmas. It says July 2013. No, no, I don't like throwing out things, to be honest with you. Hey, Mum, is there any uh, leftovers? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, where did Who you come out of? <laughs> oh, this is Bella and Hi, Sammy. Sammy. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. They're here to rescue my kitchen. This one? This yes. Kitchen. Well, you better check out the knife drawer. What's the what? knife drawer? So there's knives that have been in here that are as old as me. Oh, my God. Marguerite, look at how many knives you have. There's about 40 knives in there. What is going on here? Yep. Why does she have so many knives? I think she has a fear of letting go. <laughs> the problem with the <laughs> knives is when the knives get blunt, I buy a new knife. Okay. And you don't throw out the old I ones. I don't like throw out. Josh, are you dobbing your mum in? This time I am, <laughs> and uh, I hope she gets on the right track. OK. Well, she will. We're going to help her. Joshua. Marguerite, we want to take you back to Kitchen Central and we're going to teach you some recipes and maybe Josh can come by and do some taste testing. Mm, sounds lovely. Marguerite is in desperate need of a kitchen rescue. We'll teach her some foolproof recipes, Portuguese dishes that will definitely impress her husband and streamline her pantry to just the essentials. Right now at Kitchen Rescue Central, we're spicing things up and teaching Marguerite a Portuguese classic. I know that everyone in Australia loves Portuguese chicken, and you love a Portuguese oh, man, yes. don't I'm you? I'm married to a Portuguese man, <laughs> and I love Portuguese chicken. Have you had Portuguese chicken in Portugal? Yes. Okay, so you're going to superb. You're going to be a pretty good critic on this recipe, but you're also going to learn how to make it, which is very important. So yes. the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get you grab the sugar and all the spices that we need yes. for the marinade. So do we've you know got... what the spices are? No. Okay, so we've got sweet paprika and smoked paprika. Yes. Lots of garlic, dried oregano, and then we're adding in the brown sugar to add that sort of caramelised barbecued flavour to okay. it. Okay. So you can add the brown sugar to it. Add it in. Yeah, give it a good mix. Give it a good mix. A lot of lemon juice will kind of bring the marinade nice. together. Yeah. And then, Margaret, I'll get you to scoop out some butter as well from over there because we're going to add butter to this okay. marinade. Mm -hmm. So just kind of mix that up and blend it in as well as you can. Yeah. Just a dash of olive oil to it. Yeah. And, Bella, can you put in some salt? I sure can. Smells nice. So that marinade looks like it's done. Look oh. at this gorgeous chook. Oh, you look scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. No, I'm wondering how you're going to put it up. It's not how I'm going to cut it up, Marguerite. It's how you're going to cut it up. Me? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get these chicken scissors. OK. So what you want to do is cut down either side. Don't cut So cut finger. either side of this? Of the spine. So you're going to cut two incisions like this. Two incisions. And we're going to remove the entire spine. All right, so this spine. is... And it should be up like this. Just watch oh, your yeah. fingers inside. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Yeah? Now, no. I find it easier to flip the chicken around now and then you can go back the other way. Oh, yeah, way this up. is very mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. So the bones along there are quite soft and it does make it easier to cut through there. Might get a job in Portugal, do you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> After all of this. There, there we go. go. Now, pop that on here. Yep. We're not going to throw that away. We're going to hold on to it. You can make a chicken stock with that. Oh. Now, the next part is to flatten it like a Portuguese chicken. Turn it over like this. Grab your hand under there and just pull this... and then push there and use your body weight. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Maybe she needs oh just... My God. You're very okay. slim. Maybe you need two hands and hammer. both of yeah. your body weights so on So you're there. kind of... You're trying to crack the bones a bit. 
So you want to make it as flat as possible. So the next thing to do is to stab some holes in this chicken. By doing this, we actually help that flavour in the marinade to reach in. every single part of the chicken. This chicken is actually chemical free. So it's really special because you don't need to wash the skin. It hasn't soaked up any funny liquids or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's a proper natural chicken like they used to make them back in the old days. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. let's do the marinade. All right, I've got a little bit of a sneaky trick up my sleeve mm -hmm. and that's oven bags. And the great thing about these bags <laughs> is that you not only use them to roast, but you use them to marinate as well. You got it? That's yep. it. All right. All right. Pour it on top, the whole Just thing. Pour it on top. Yeah. And then you can use the bag to give it a good massage. And that way you don't get all of that stinky garlic on your hands. I'm going to pop this on an oven tray. Yeah. Like this. Tie that up. Yep. All right, nice and tight. Yeah. Yep. Now, even though we are sealing it up, we do want a couple of little holes just to vent any excess steam. And this goes straight in the oven. Straight in the oven. Easy peasy. OK. Now, Marguerite, to go with the Portuguese chicken, yes. we're also going to make a quick piri piri sauce. So in this blender, we've got some garlic, chilli, put in some lemon juice, lemon zest, and a good glug of olive oil. And Have Bella, can you salty? please add in some salt? And you get to do the fun part, Marguerite. I'm going to mix it all up. That's right. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the sauce that goes on top of it, the peri-peri sauce. Yeah. And because yeah. there's a fresh lemon juice, it's yes. going to really brighten it up. You can smell it, can't it smells you? good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? So you just press this button at the top. OK. okay. We keep going until the chilli is <laughs> Enough now? Perfect. So, Bella, how's the chicken? Do you think it's ready? I think it's ready now. OK. I might even just pour this back into the lemon juice bowl. OK, Bella, got a board here ready for you. Oh, you can oh, smell that tight. lovely chicken. <laughs> Doesn't mm. it smell lovely? Now, it's quite steamy, so you've got to be careful when you're opening her up. Oh, you get... oh look at oh, look like that. that. Mm. Can you see it's got that lovely yeah. char to it, which you want in a roast chicken to get you the flavour, but it's still moist. It you is, see all yeah. the juices Pam. in the bottom here? Do you want to baste it with some of this piri piri sauce, yep. Marguerite, and then we can give it a try? Perfect. Now, Marguerite, get in there and have a taste. <laughs> OK, let's have a taste. She's speechless. How does it stand up to the Portuguese chicken you've had in Portugal? Just as good. Just as good? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs>
Yeah. Sarlet, you do the dicing. That's for you. Because the salmon's thicker on one side than the other, you want all of the pieces at the end to be, to be the, the same. same. One will overcook and the other one won't. Perfect. Yeah, yeah you, you got, got it. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. OK, so, Margaret, one thing when you cut this next piece of salmon yep. that I want you to do, because it's making me a little bit nervous watching you, is... Oh, yeah, and I might cut my claw. fingers. Yes. Oh, I've done that before. OK, so <laughs> what you need to do is actually tuck your fingers in and make a bit of a claw. And it actually stops the knife from hitting the tips of your fingers, but rather the side of the knife glides on the knuckles that you have making the So claw. you should be up close. There you go. Oh, yes. wow. So, and when you get to the thinner end of the salmon, you can just do slightly bigger pieces. Like that. Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. So let's get started on the sauce. The sauce is super, super quick okay. and really simple. It's really not scary to pan fry salmon, but I love cooking it in butter. You can do olive oil too, but there's something about butter that just makes food taste better and it goes really well with salmon. So a nice big scoop of butter. This sauce is probably going to take three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And fresh quick. pasta takes about three or four minutes to cook. Oh, my God, that's yeah. very quick. If you've got this machine yeah. and you've got salmon ready to yeah. go, you can make this dish in 20 minutes at home. That's or less. Wow. Yeah. The butter's melted and yes. you can see that it's hot because it starts bubbling. So do you want to throw the salmon on in? OK. Big scoop. Throw it all Big in. Big scoop. <laughs> OK. So this salmon is literally only going to take a few minutes to cook. It's yeah. really, really quick. So as you can see, it's already starting to turn colour. And I only really want to cook it around the outside because it will continue cooking once we pour some saucy ingredients in there. So the salmon is just seared on the outside. Okay. That's all we need. Then we're going to pop in some cream and some frozen peas. Now, no shame in using frozen peas. You're Irish, you eat a lot of frozen peas, I love don't peas. you? And now I've turned the temperature down to really, really low because yeah. that only needs two minutes to finish warming through and cooking that salmon in the actual cream. And that's the perfect timing to get the pasta on. And we do indeed have an enormous pot of boiling water oh that will stop the pasta from sticking together. And lots of salt goes in there too. Did you see how much salt I added I in? I did, yeah, that was huge. So as soon as it goes in, you need to give it a bit of a stir just to make sure it doesn't stick. stick. All right, guys, this pasta is ready to pull out. And as you can see, I'm definitely not rinsing it. No, you're not. And I'm not even pouring any of that water down the drain. I'm using a sift to pick it straight out of the pot. And, yeah. Marguerite, the reason why we don't rinse it off is because it's got that residue of the flour, and the flour is what helps the sauce stick to the pasta. It's so important to put the chives in at the very end of cooking, Cookie. just so you get that fresh, bright flavour from them. Oh my god, this is great. I'm going to be a great chef now. I oh, yeah. loads of people. It's very quick and it's very healthy. Mm-hmm. That's the good thing. And that's it now. That's it. Very Ready to be easy. served Done. up. Ready well, we served. have that's one it. last thing to do. We'll bring that up here. Up here. You know, you can serve it in a pretty pot like this. And you okay. can garnish it with so some chives. So just a little bit of chives. Lots of chives. Careful, it will be hot. <laughs> it's beautiful. Are you Honestly, sure? Girls. We're here with a hack for keeping your kitchen sparkling. The essential first step when you start cooking or prepping food is to stop your chopping board from sliding around. I get two pieces of paper towel, wet it slightly, and pop it underneath the chopping board. Right, that is much more stable and a lot more safe to do your cutting on. And after you've made a mess from all your chopping around your board, you can use the same paper towel to wipe up. That's quite nifty, isn't it? Now, we're teaching Marguerite a pancake recipe that'll have the whole family buzzing. Marguerite. Yes. Do you like coffee? Yes. Do you like chocolate? Yes. Does your whole family love coffee and chocolate? Yes. OK, then you're going to be the new favourite person in your family because we're going to teach you to make espresso pancakes with a liquid gold chocolate sauce. Oh. So the first thing we need to do is make the pancake okay. batter. I've got some flour in here and yep. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Yep. Now, it's so important to add a little bit of salt to anything you're cooking that's sweet because it brings out the flavour. Some sugar goes sugar. in there. Mm -hmm. And do you want to pop in that baking powder? Now give it a really, really good mix. We want to make sure that the baking powder is evenly distributed. So then you want to make a little bit of a well in the centre. So a little yeah. hole. A little hole, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. you got it. And the melted butter and the egg and the milk. Do you make pancakes at home, Marguerite? No, I've never made them. You've never made pancakes? I've made them out of a packet years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Hang on. We have another secret ingredient. Do you know what that is? 
sparkling water. Yes. To go in this. Yes. It's actually going to make the pancake batter extra light and fluffy. So I'm going to give it a bit of gas. <laughs> and the more times you press it, the more fizz you get. She's right. really going for the fizz, isn't she? she? Is. <laughs> Very that fizzy. Is super super bubbly. Look at all yes. those bubbles. So I'm just going to eyeball it. About half a cup. Yeah. Half a cup. All right. Let's add the coffee. Hold on, hang on. Hot coffee coming in. So this is the espresso that I pre-brewed. Can you smell the aromas from that espresso? Beautiful. Gorgeous. And this isn't just any coffee. It's a freshly ground espresso that I just made. Now, you know there's an old wives' tale that says the first pancake never works. Yes. So... Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Less the pan. All right. A bit of butter goes in there. What do you think now, girls? I think that was pretty good. Yeah, no love. That's lumps. the hardest work I've done today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes. scoop some of this in. Look at that. And that gorgeous yes. espresso you just made it so golden and delicious. You can use the back of the ladle to make a nice shape like that. Keep your eyes on it, and when you see the bubbles come to the top, that's when it's time to flip. Oh, looks good. Pancake delicious. Marguerite, have you heard of these golden caramel colours no. before? Try one. Not one, not two. <laughs> oh, God, they're lovely. Mm -hmm. mm. So what I'm going to do is put this into the microwave to melt with some cream. We're going to make a golden chocolate sauce to pour over the top of the pancakes. All right, I'm going to pop mm. these in the microwave. Look at this, Marguerite. I know. It smells lovely. The cream oh, and those gosh. golden chocolate collets that have melted. Have a little <laughs> taste. Ooh la la. Oh, God, it's lovely. Woohoo, pancakes. Mm-hmm. All, All right, right, bring them here. Maybe you want to do the honours of drizzling over some Was of it the... just drizzle like this? All yes. over the top, however you like. Oh, yeah. We'll do one more? One more. All right, one go more. nuts. OK, and now I'm going to add, just because I can't help myself, few extra little chocolate, chocolate. collets. Should we try? Yes, why not? Mmm. Mm. Place. Mm. Beautiful. What smells so good? Oh, oh. oh. Josh, Josh. Look <laughs> like what the cat's What are you doing here? I'm just see here at the right time, I think. But Have a try. try some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you just show wow. up whenever there's food around? Mm. That's one of my talents, yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Can you taste the coffee? And the caramel? It's, got it's all coming through, it's beautiful. Mmm. Nice. This is what they've been teaching you. Yes, I'm going to be able to make this. I'm excited. What do you mean? I'll see you later. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that's, that's not that. very nice. We made this. Okay. This is for the girls. Yeah. Dig in, ladies. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll have another piece. We're here with a refreshing hack. Marguerite's husband, Joe, has a garden full of fresh herbs and we've got a great trick to use them in sparkling water. First, fizz them up. Put in any herbs that you like, some mint, rosemary or basil. Give it a quick muddle. Some ice and now sparkling water. This is a great drink to enjoy from the garden after doing the gardening. Marguerite's house, it's time to knuckle down and clear the clutter. Marguerite's hoarding days are over. I'm going to attack that pantry. I'm going to get started on cleaning this sink because it's not perfectly clean. So this cream cleanser is great because it's got natural limestone, which is going to give our kitchen a brilliant clean without all the harsh chemicals. It's a big job, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm throwing out a lot of old stuff. Oh, my God. Oh. Fill that bag up. Not many people think about the chemicals under their sink, so we've decided to take out all of Marguerite's harsh cleaning products and replace them with products that are environmentally sound and value for money. OK, Bella, let's have a little look inside Marguerite's fridge, see what she's got hiding in here. Hmm, some leftover pizza. It's not too bad. Oh, look! There's Josh's lunch. He must so have, cute. He must have forgot it. He'll always be her baby, I think. Okay. 
my goodness, there was so much off food in that pantry. It's fantastic to have a big expander bag like this because you can put weird, heavy stuff in there and it's nice and strong. Oh my God, Bella, look at this gross mold. <gasps> what is it? Is that Christmas pudding? <gasps> Here, give it to me. Throw it out. Ugh, disgusting. I'm going to have All to right. clean this fridge after oh. that pudding. Hello, how are you two? You look jolly. Good. What have Good. you been doing? Well, while you guys have been out enjoying your coffee, we've actually been very hard at work. But most importantly, we've got you some goodies. Wow. Yes. They're all yours. So remember that delicious pasta we made with saffron? Yes. Yeah. That's the machine. So you can oh make it at home. Oh my gosh, I can make it myself. Wow. And we got you the soda maker as well. So you can have deliciously fizzy water or you can make those espresso pancakes as well. Oh, that'll be great. And I might have made a small mess in your pantry when I was cleaning it out. So we got you a cordless vacuum cleaner. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's for me. Yes. yes. And it's got a double battery so you can get Josh to clean the whole house. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Josh can do the cleaning. Yeah. I'll clean enough after Josh. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I think we should reveal to you the knife drawer that we've neatened them up. You've only got eight knives, which is honestly more than what you need. That's all I need. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, you have been a little bit naughty. We found something not so good in your fridge. What oh is my it? God. A plum pudding. <laughs> oh, my God. This is all going in the bin, but we still need to show you the pantry, so come over here. Ta-da! Is this my pantry? Yes, oh it is. Oh, my God. Oh, that, that looks too. fabulous. So you can see how we've organised everything into sections. So all the rice is in one area, all the pasta is in another. And all the herbs. <laughs> I just can't get over it. I can actually find things now. More than one foot in. More than one Oh, foot. thank you so much. Sammy, another successful kitchen rescue. <laughs> I'm so, so grateful to Sammy and Bella. I had a fantastic day, and I'm going to be able to cook many nice dishes for you now. Absolutely. Thank you, Sammy and Bella. We had a great time. Thank you very much, Sammy and Bella.